have a question for guys. If you're not legally married to the mother of your child and you have not done a DNA test, how do you know that a child that is birthed by a woman is in fact your child? Just because she tells you it's your child and even just because you sign the birth certificate, it doesn't necessarily mean that that is your child. This is a big issue that comes up for citizenship. During the naturalization process, you have to list all of your children. You disclose that you have a child just because the woman told you the child is yours, but you have not been paying child support. That is going to affect your good moral character and citizenship eligibility. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you guys, you got to know what's what's really going on out there and know your rights and, and make sure you protect your seed and and all of that, you know, because today, you know, we throw around sex like it's, you know, like, like it's nothing, like it has no meaning, but it still has a big ramification, which is another human being that has to grow up in this world. And a lot of people are out there just doing stuff with no responsibility, not being responsible on no kind of level. You know, when you look at these women out here being promiscuous and sleeping with all these men, and then you got men going on good faith when someone tells them that they're pregnant, because that's one of the greatest joys you can experience as a man is to have a child. It's one of the things that make us who we are. And that's something that is, is overlooked, not cherished anymore, even by men. But our biology still makes us say, Hey, you're pregnant. You're going to have my child. I'm going to be the protector. I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm not going to doubt this situation. That's the good side of you wanting to think that. But today you cannot do that. You have to make sure. You cannot take a chance because people lie. Women do lie. Women lie to save embarrassment. They, you know, they lie because they don't want to look like a 304. And it doesn't just stop when they have the child. If that continues throughout that child's life, then now she's lying to the child. And probably blaming you. And you might not even be the father. <laughs>